No fewer than two persons were reportedly killed when a gas exploded within the Olushegun Obasanjo Presidential Library, OOPL, in Abekuta, Ogun State, on Thursday morning. The library is not far away from the conference hotel owned by a former governor of the state, Governor Benga Daniel, where a gas explosion killed four persons two days ago. According to Daily Trust, the explosion at the library occurred around 11 a.m. at the Maku Event Center within the facility. The newspaper gathered that technicians were topping up gas into the air conditioner when it exploded. Two people have already been confirmed dead, a worker at the library told Daily Trust. It was also learned that security guards at the gate turned visitors back as only the truck of the state fire service and some officials were allowed into the premises. All right, guys, this is the latest development as it's happening right now. The question is, what is going on in the southeast, southwestern part of the country, especially in Ogun State, Abeokuta? What is actually going on? Why is gas explosion, you know, um, happening in the city of Abeokuta? Just two days ago, um, the conference hotel belonging to the former governor of the state, Benga Daniel Ochuba, you know, exploded. There was a gas explosion, rather, I beg your pardon, a gas explosion at the conference hotel in Abiyokuta, which led to the death, confirmed death of about two persons, as uh, reported by various uh, online uh, news and outlets out there. And now today, the Olushegun Obasanjo um, Library, the OOPL in Abeokuta, has now witnessed another explosion, a gas explosion as it were, killing two persons as at the time of filing the report. The question is, what is going on? Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it is. Oscar says, Mazen Amdekano had warned the Yoruba people of what is about to happen now. This is just testing the microphone. They have not started yet. The earlier you listen to Namdekano, the better for you. Divide Nigeria and save lives. Okay, guys, do you agree with him? Ban Yorkshire says, for Fela, it was unknown soldiers. For us today, it is unknown gunmen. And now it is becoming unknown bomb men. Wow. Okay, do you agree with what Yorkshire has says? Ugoeze Chinyere Okwe says, people have to face the reality now or never. There is no need for some southerners pre pretending as if all is well. Nigeria is not a country. These issues will not stop till the end of this world. Another thing that will it will come to an end that the person is dreaming. Okay, if anyone thinks that it will come to an end, that person is dreaming. Okay. All right, guys. What do you think? Do you agree? Pure Jean says. When the Namdekano told the West that the terrorists are already in the West, before Nigerian government began to allege that IPOP want to attack Yoruba land, they were calling him a runaway freedom fighter. While with the absence, while with his absence, we keep opposing the Fulani headsmen and their uniform men accomplice. But with Iboho's presence, Yorubas are running to Benin Republic as refugees in a ward. A, a word is enough for the wise. Don't allow the hatred for Namdekano or the IPOP to cause you an avoidable death. Okay. Could that be the reason why the OOPL um, is experiencing a gas explosion, as it were? Well, I just asked. I don't know. You know, that is just it. All right. Last Sunday says the thing with the security agencies man your house are safe. The fact is that nobody is safe. Ademola Sheriff Dean says Shekau is dead by Iswap. Ayade just decamped dumps PDP for APC. Explosion rock Obasanjo's library all at the same time. Nigeria will arrange everything. All this is to divert attention. Okay. Guys, do you think that all that is happening is to divert attention? Well, be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, 
we keep our fingers crossed. The intelligence department of IPOP is second to none, he says. We want more will come. Okay? Guys, what are your thoughts? Is it the time for people to begin to uh, run away from Nigeria? Why is there explosion here and there? Why is there explosion there, here, everywhere? Or almost everywhere? The question is, what is going on? Well, be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. The country is in a their state at the moment. Nobody seems to know exactly what is happening. Nobody seems to be sure of what exactly is going on, who is safe. Probably nobody knows. But right now, with what is going on and with what people are seeing, what people are saying, there is also the likelihood of uh, more developments in the coming days, as it were. This is a very, very strong and uh, serious situation as it is. The question is, when will things get better? Stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but it will take divine intervention for things to get better, for things to turn out well. It will take what? Divine intervention. That's just the truth of the matter. Who will, uh, who, would, who is ready to take the right decision? Who is ready to take the right decision? Nobody probably knows or has uh, any insight as to that. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Explosion rocking um, the countries here and there. The question is, why is there explosions? Could it be true that it is gas explosion or something else? We need to ask questions. People need to know what is going on so that people can know where to run to. People can know where to actually hide. A lot of things are going on in the country right now that people are so scared to talk about. People are so scared to also, uh, you know, mention. People are scared and don't know what exactly or where exactly they need to go. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. However, though, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Well, we hope that um, there will be more details as to this particular situation and occurrence in the coming hours. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.